as a person who lives in a big city and misses the nature, it's like traveling. For me, it's a very interesting journey. And I bring these places in the world, these mountains, these rocks, these rivers and lakes, and I imagine that I am there and I'm painting this part and this is very beautiful and now it's now I have it. I have it by me. <laughs> I am creating something that you can touch, that you can touch with your hand. This painting can be touched and you can feel the relief that we don't allow in our spaces. And I think we miss it. And when we see a crack or a spot, we clean it, we make it disappear, we take some paste or some material to fix it. We, we think that something is wrong. So this is my way to bring something alive to your space. born in Russia, in Moscow, so I come from a very big city with a lot of culture, a lot of museums and galleries. And it was my education in the family that we went to art galleries and we discussed it with my grandmother. So as a kid I remember spending really a lot of time there and she told us about painters and their life and how they became artists and actually after this my sister studied art history and I became an artist. <laughs> My parents and my family and my teacher, they always told me I was creative because I was interested not only in uh, painting and drawing, but in all kinds of available for me as a kid uh, techniques like knitting, sewing, stitching. So I always enjoyed doing something with my hands and like creating something new out of different materials and my drawing teacher in the um, at school she was organizing different events for kids and even exhibitions and once she even published my graphic uh, work in some kind of book about children's rights or something like that <laughs> it was like success you were published in some in some book <laughs> My parents liked nature a lot and on the weekends we went to the nature, to the parks and forests that were near. And I remember my father, she, uh, there was a period in his life he used to draw um, with watercolors or gouache and it was mostly landscapes. It was three stripes, three colors and for a child there was nothing interesting, no person, no bird, no dog, nothing there. And uh, sometimes I thought that they were kind of boring but this was interesting way for me to understand that in a simple way, in a simple means of three stripes of colors of gray and brown and orange, like autumn forest, you can give the, the feeling of the nature. My art teacher, the latest one, she told us that we should find our own style, that it should come from inside and you, you should put it into your, your pieces. And I discovered this technique, texture painting. It can be fluid paint, it can be like paste paint from um, as it is. Um, it gives the really creative freedom and I'm enjoying the, the way it 
it reveals the, the colors, it reveals the textures. I can imagine whatever it is, it's, um, it can be rocks or waves or, or wind or anything or just or some fish in the water depending on the mood depending on the the pace i get it's always a bit different it can stay pretty much like like this Now I'm going to take it carefully and put it aside to dry. I need to find a safe place so nobody touches it and it just dries in three or four days depending on the weather and the temperature. This paste is going to dry and look completely different. Here on another canvas I'll show you what it's going to be in, um, like in after it's dry. Here I applied this the same paste on the bottom and it gave a, these wonderful cracks. how it works on the cracks. I discovered that this technique gives me freedom to express myself and in the process I feel that it's not only me that creates this picture, there is something else, like you can say some kind of force or it's just like you follow the material, like you follow the road, you don't always know where it leads you to. I imagine that this place is a, sometimes a real place, but sometimes it's a place in your mind. And for me, it can be a, a window to nature, to raw materials, to wild textures and untouched, unknown natural structures. And it should give peace to you and your eye should have rest looking at this picture because this is also the idea of going to remote and quiet places just to look at the view and to dive into your thoughts and feelings or just to have quietness in your head which I personally miss and I feel that lots of people miss it because it's really loud in uh, cities where lots of people live so I imagine that this um, Painting gives you peace in the evening when you look at it. Now I'm gonna show you um, the last step of the process on one picture, which I have now in progress. This is not finished yet and I create pictures with the um, idea that they should find place on the wall of a, an apartment or place with modern design. It can be very personal work with, with the owner because I would like to know the person a bit better to see the space, to see the atmosphere and create the, the painting for, for them, for the space with the energy of this house, of these people, of this environment, um, to make what they need with my energy, in my personal style, in the way I make it.